Well, well, well. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to ROM Hack Races. It's good to see y'all. I hope you're doing really well. Um, thanks for dropping by. You know, normally, I've done a lot of these races, and normally I'm not, like, a little nervous for the race to start, but I am tonight. It's week 259, and tonight's level was made by me, Glitch Cat. But I didn't act alone. Ha ha ha. I had help with this one from some very good friends. Uh, Sulfur X, Kelgand, and Fen also helped me out uh, making this. Uh, we had to, long story short, uh, circumstances happen. We do these races every week, um, and circumstances happen. We had to pull a backup for this one. And uh, fortunately, I had something hanging around that uh, X and Kelgand and Fen did a great job helping me polish up and get ready to race tonight. So I hope you're ready. Um, I hope I'm ready. And uh, I think we're going to have some fun tonight. Uh, as rated by our testers tonight, execution 6 out of 10, complexity 5. There are 9 entire sections with an average length of 5 for each of those sections. Um, I guess I'm getting a little ahead of myself. If you're new, welcome to ROM Hack Races. We do these every Saturday, and every Saturday you can see a fresh new Kaizo Super Mario World level uh, raced sight read, sight read style from everyone. The racers have no idea what they're in for. Um, they're just going to have to improvise and use all their wits and skill. Uh, but the testers did test it ahead of time and give the difficulty rankings, so they do know that. Um, along with this, the racers also know that uh, this is, and I, I tried to describe this, this is me doing my best T. Takamoto impression. My, my uncle T. Takamoto works at Nintendo, and this is me stu doing sort of my best impression of that. Um, I hope y'all like this. I'm a little, I, I hope y'all like this. We're going to have some fun. Um, we got some friends behind the scenes helping us out tonight. Uh, uh, excuse me, Fen, uh, Dr. No, What's Up Dot, Starlord, and Kelgand all helping us out. Doc's on the restream. Fen and all the rest are looking out for all the racers. We have scouts, and there are 14 racers who have signed up, and the scouts are watching everybody to let you know who takes the lead, who might be uh, getting a clear or whatnot. Uh, all the racers in quick succession here. B2, Ender of Games, Endless Ascent, Germ Dove, Jank Pickle, Louis Ducey, Mangor, Mason SMW, Muzzle, Nathan MG, Nick Dude, Rogue Games, Seal Cadelic, and You Fail Me. If you'd like to learn a little bit more about ROM Hack Races or what we do, you can go on over to romhackraces.com and learn about us, download the patch for any of the levels that you've seen, or jump on the Discord server and hang out and talk shop with us, grab that base ROM that this was made on by Ampersam, um, or you could go and check out the shop and buy some cool ROM Hack Races merch, t-shirts, and uh, hoodies for when it gets cold out. Right now, it's too warm, get a t-shirt instead. And, uh, hi, I'm, I'm Glitch Cat. Uh, I, uh, I'll bring you the play-by-play, -play, and uh, I, I know what's in this level. <laughs> I, know what the, I know what these racers are going to have to do. You know, I, I want to give a, give a shout-out to all the other makers. I'm not normally, I'm, I'm normally bringing the, the commentary here, but I'm not normally sitting in the maker hot seat. Uh, and we've also got Sulfur X and Kelgan, uh, who designed some stuff for this, as well as Fen, who helped put us all, put it all together. Uh, but I'm, I'm a little, I'm a little nervous, you know, we'll, we'll see, we'll see if folks like this, um, it's different. I think, I think, I don't, I don't want to say too much, um, but it's, it's a little, it's a little different. It's a little different than what we might be used to, so... <laughs> Let's uh, see what see what they can do. I think they're up to it. I think these racers are more than capable. Um, if you're not familiar with how this goes, like I said, this is a contest of sight reading. So the racers don't know what they're in for, and they only know those difficulty metrics. Consistency at obstacles they already know, and one-shots at obstacles they are fresh at will determine the fate. Uh, these are great racers playing against other good players, and uh, so don't, be, don't be fooled into thinking someone's bad. Um, yeah, it's only it's only been a couple of hundred weeks since my last <laughs> ROM hack race level. That level wound up in Breakfast Kaizo 2, so that was, uh, that long ago. So, uh, you know, okay, alright, alright, let's go. I hope you're all doing well. Uh, thanks, thanks for watching, thanks for coming by. Make some noise in chat for your favorite racers, make some noise in chat for everybody. And, uh, you know, I'm kinda... Kind of watching this along with everybody, but I'm excited for y'all to see this. We are ready to go. So, uh, you know, I beat this castle when I was a kid, and back then we didn't have any fancy cheating codes. We had to walk uphill both ways all the way to the... Ah, you get the idea. Let's see what we got. <laughs> it's time for video games. So, I beat this level when I was a kid. And... 
here's the here's the big reveal. These are vanilla edits. Let's see what's up here, and uh, let's see what they can do. <laughs> these are these are some stuff that we made as as backups. And I had had some of this sitting around, and okay, we needed a backup, so we brought this up tonight. This is the actual level, and this is what we're gonna have to do, but, you know, I beat this castle when I was a kid, and, uh, oh, did you? Because things are a little bit different here. And, uh, looks like Mason, SMW, in the lower left has figured out this first obstacle. This room, uh, in fact, is not my own creation, this was a Solve for X original. They designed this one, and uh, we sort of talked about the, the ideas and philosophy that we wanted to go for for this whole thing, and the idea kind of being small touch, minor changes to bring out a Kaizo situation from the vanilla uh, elements and level design. So a lot of this you might recognize, right? But it's a little bit different this time around. So uh, we'll see, we'll see. Everybody's kind of getting the hang. Uh, Sulfur X has this idea here. We're gonna. It's the regular structure of what is this? Vanilla Dome, Vanilla Secret Two. I think this is. I think this naturally is Vanilla Secret Two. And uh, looks like Germ Dove is trying some stuff here. Mason is also kind of getting the idea. We want to get some shell jumps, and they're making their way up uh, this tower. Now in the Vanilla level, this was uh, a little bit easier. Uh, but here we need to get P speed, and uh, you got Mason SMW down there with the right idea. Um, getting P-Speed to get uh, the one shell up on the ledge where they need to be, and then uh, get the other shell and use it to jump on up. Uh-oh, though, you fail me in the upper right has figured all of this out. But now what's it going to be here, you fail me? Let's see, I mean, you know, you, you, you get the idea, you get what's going on, and you fail me, uh-huh. If you've played the vanilla game, uh, you know, you'd be familiar with these areas, and you fail me has noticed that uh, there is a pipe up here. Now, normally this pipe would take you to uh, a secret exit uh, in Vanilla Secret. Yeah, this is Vanilla Secret 2, I want to say. Uh, but it looks like, yo, let's go. You fail me out of the first room. Now, I thought it was kind of interesting to start out with an area like uh, X's where people had to sort of figure out what to do. What's it going to be? Um, and I'm, I was interested when I was putting these rooms together about um, change-ups. In, in the race, you know, it's uh, no lead is safe in ROM hack races, and sometimes consistency or a one shot could really make the difference in a level. So I was trying to kind of scramble some things up a little bit, and I thought this was a cool section to put first. But you fail me getting through that uh, second room, no problem. And this was Kelgans here. We're up uh, up in the upper right with you fail me though muzzle in the lower right. It looks like they've got yeah they've got some plans here, and uh, this is Kelgans room. Uh, this is the entrance to Morton's castle. And uh, that, was, that was pretty chill. Uh, Kelgan enforced the uh, Pobido jump there, which is normally. And now from here on out, you, they, they all have to deal with my stuff. Uh, this, is <laughs> this is my level design here. And uh, you fail me getting into room number four. This is uh, what Ludwig's, the intro to Ludwig's castle initially. And uh, it's, it's, it's been, it's, it's the same. You know, I remember it back from the 90s. This is just how it was. How many times have you, as a streamer, had someone come into your chat and be like, I beat this level when I was a kid, I don't know why it's so hard. You know, this is per perfectly normal Ludwig action going on. Meanwhile here, Mason uh, and Muzzle in the lower right definitely getting up here. Yeah, they see they see the way forward. This first room is a little bit, uh, a little bit trickier to figure out and a little bit less straightforward than maybe some of the other ones to come. You fail me, though. In the lead right now, but could it be... Mason, SMW, watch out. So, uh, haha, not that way. So, uh, X has taken the liberty of, uh, filling, filling that area up with Kaizo blocks. But Mason, yep, they're looking for their, yep, they see that pipe up there. And, uh, one thing that's kind of cool about this room, I thought, was that you can't really die while you're trying this. Like, there are ways, you know? But down here in the uh, in the lower left, Mason just has you got some time. You can try a spring jump. You can try what you think would work, um, and I think that's kind of a, an interesting idea. This was something I was fascinated by the sort of hybridization of standard and Kaizo. That if you play standard levels long enough, you start treating them like a sort of a Kaizo puzzle. You know, don't touch the floor. Floor is lava challenge and whatever. Um, and here, you know, we've we've enforced this. You fail me. Looking, uh, looking, looking sharp with the Ludwig, Ludwig area. This section got a few nerfs. 
Oh, I see. I think you I think you found me has found uh have they found some cheese? I think they might be able to peace speed, yep. All right, well, that's fine. You feel me? Normally, you're supposed to have the disco as Mason gets into the second room. Let's go. Uh, my intention there was that you keep the disco, but when I made that cloud platform uh, semi-solid from being a uh, cement block, I inadvertently allowed that P-Speed cheese. Hey, that's cool, you know? It, it, it was easy when we were a kid, too. You feel me? Waiting out this uh, sort of fireball section. I thought that was kind of neat. And let's see if you fail me remembers. Let's see. Let's see if you fail me remembers how the original game is played. I think they do. Mason, meanwhile, getting into Kelgan's room three, and Nathan looks like in the upper left they have got the idea. So I think we're gonna see some. We're gonna see some sh movement now. Uh, you fail me moving into room five. This is uh, an entry a place from uh, Chocolate Chocolate Fort, and Mason going into uh, room four. Room six now, so uh, Mason here in the lower left closing the gap, but you fail me still in the lead. Now this one, I thought this was kind of fun. This is also from Ludwig's castle. Uh, this was actually the second area, actually. So we're doing the first area of Ludwig, and then we're also doing the second area. And in this one, uh, you'll famously remember that you're running from the spikes that are coming down on the ceiling. Most of the stuff in this area is where it was in the vanilla level. And in this case, we're going to be... Uh, Gonna be using, yeah, use, using a little bit of speed to get through the the anxiety room. <laughs> Yo, nice jumps. Hey, you fail me figuring out how to maintain slope speed. If you're crouching and sliding down a slope, you will um you will be able to preserve that momentum by remaining neutral on the D-pad. Meanwhile, though, Mason, let's go. Making some progress through Ludwig's area, room four, and Roke Games has gotten out of the first section. They are moving on as well. You fail me, though, with a shot at the end. Nice. Maybe? All right. You know, I could have thrown a fish at you, but we'll see. We'll see. Okay, here we go. Now, you fail me into room seven. And uh, do you do you recognize this one, chat? Where, uh, where has this one been? Uh, this was, what, Morton. This is the Morton climb from Castle 3. And here we've Kaizoified it. Uh, looks like Rogue Games, too, in room four. Mason and Shovda in the lower right getting into room two. Like how many of these rooms capture the feeling and spirit of playing them as a kid? Thanks. Thanks. Uh, everybody everybody really helped out. This was a big team effort from, uh, from, from a lot of folks. I might have designed some of this, but it was everybody else who helped me shine it up and get this into a presentable race-ready ROM. So you fail me here, doing pretty well. They seem to have played their vanilla SMW. And it looks like their speed getting out of that first room really uh, really paid off. But uh, you can, you know, here, here I am on commentary to answer for my crimes as Shovda moves into room four. Um, this is intentional. I put this, I put this room seven here. We know there are nine. The racers know there are nine rooms. And I did, yes, that's, that's a, this is kind of a mean spike. But I put this here intentionally because I wanted a little bit of a shakeup right in the middle of the race. I wanted, you know, it was room seven, we're almost done, but here is kind of a forced motion auto scroller with a, maybe a choke point at the end. And I wanted to put a lot of emphasis on if you one shot this room in particular at this moment, you could get get something pretty big. But it looks like you found me trying for the two shot and doing pretty well with it. Meanwhile, Mason making some progress through uh, room four. And Roke as well, getting to that uh, survival section. Oh, everybody's using the peace speed cheese. Ah, well, uh, that's how it goes. You fail me, though. Look out. Ha ha ha. <laughs> Yo, muzzle and jank pickle with the H. Nicely done. We got some, we got some movement here. No lead is safe, but uh, you fail me. Better watch out. They see what to do. Oh, wow. How clever. Ooh. 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 Ow. Yikes. Those dry bones do throw... I believe the manual even says it throws their own bones at you. Pretty sure that pretty sure that's how that works. Oh, oh, Mason. Oh, what? Oh. Oh, well, they they got up there. All right, good job. Oh. I put a moon up there. Where where, where Mason went up and ran up to the left, I put a moon up there. I I don't maybe it despawned or something. There was a moon. There was supposed to be a moon up there. I was like, "Oh, cool they're gonna get the moon but mason is moving now and uh yeah you fail me kind of kind of having to work with the uh room seven i wanted a sort of a 
a longer one here. This is this is deliberate pacing on my part, for better or for worse. Room 7 is intended, intended to be this kind of stretched out area that might take you a little more time. Shake things up a little bit, you never know. It's just, it's now the intended strat, that's fair. That's fair. It's, it's fun to capture the spirit of the original game and playing when you were a kid. Sometimes you can kind of cheat the obstacles. That's a, that's a thing. Shavda going for the survival section. She's a survivor, so she'll have no trouble. Meanwhile, Mason... Ooh, can they make it to the door? Oh, so close. All right. Yo, Shavda, see? No problem. Yeah, Shavda, with the, with the disco strap for some extra cool points. Oh, now shove the now you can use P speed to move the camera up, but you don't really need it to get in there. Oh, I know why. Uh-huh. I know why. Uh Mason didn't find the moon, because that's not where it was. Props to Mithrillionaire on this one, who suggested that maybe people wouldn't realize you could scroll the camera up. And that's a valid thing. Yeah, there should. There's a moon. There should be a moon there. Maybe I put it in the wrong spot, but there really should be a, a moon to reward you. And say, not over here. Oh, well. You fail me? Ooh, nice try. Now, see, this is a kind of a little joke on my part here, because if you, uh, you fail me in the upper right, if you bop that dry bones, when it wakes up, now it's kind of out of sync with everything else. And, uh, yep, and now, uh, now you fail me. They're trying to get out of this room. You can see the door up above themselves, but now they've kind of got to play hopscotch with the, uh, the dry bones a little bit to get that cycle to work. Uh, you know, everybody in the vanilla game, you just blast right by it, but, uh, here I wanted to, I wanted to let some things shine out a little bit, and here we go! With Mason in the lower left catching up in room 7, Germdove in room 6. You fail me, though, moving on. And, uh, this is... This was a van... This was a chocolate... Fort? This was a Chocolate Secret. This is up above Chocolate Island. It's either Chocolate Secret Fort, I think, is the name of it. And, uh, yeah, here we go. Room 8. Excuse me, I, I don't know my numbers. I can only count to 4. And, uh, so this is actually just about exactly the way it was in Vanilla. But, uh, yep, here you gotta do... Oh, look out! Ah, ha, ha. You gotta do the big item swim. Um, so everything in this room is exactly where it was. Nothing changed. Uh, what we've done, what I've done here is, is influenced, a P, is, uh, enforced a P-Switch timer. So, uh, you feel me is gonna have to figure out how to route a very quick item swim all the way through. Through an otherwise vanilla level. Ooh, nice try on the up throw. Meanwhile, though, Shovda and, uh, Germdove get into the same room, and, uh, Mason here moving through room 7. Vanilla Secret Fort, thank you, Mithroiner. Germdove, too, out, and they are also under room 7, so... You feel me, getting a little competition. Uh-oh. You fail me, though. Here we go. Oh, they know how to do this, I'm sure. Nicely done. And you fail me is out. And oh, it's room nine. <laughs> now, y'all know I love I love fish, right? I love, I love the fish swarm. I think they're fun, and I try to use them just as much as I can, because gosh, howdy, I love the fish. Uh... This was intent. I intended for you to bring the shell through here. Every room is a checkpoint, right? If you died, you'd get a checkpoint here. But on your first time through, you have, uh-oh, the option to have a shell. Uh-huh. So now you don't get the shell anymore. And we're going to have to make our way up here. Uh, but, you know, you can see what you got. There's a keyhole down there in the bottom. And uh, what, do you, what do you think is up at the top? Meanwhile, uh, Shovda here making their way. Oh, she's almost, ooh, almost got it. Mason and Germdove not far behind in room 7. Oh, you fail me. Nice. Alright, good job. Good job. Those big reeds getting out of that first room just a, a minute or so ahead of everybody really put you fail me on a good ride. And they managed to hold on to that for the rest of the race. Nicely done. And uh, just under 15 minutes. Great. Yo, you fail me a very, very strong player. But uh, don't be fooled. We got other we got other strong players to watch too. All right, cool. And then I feel I feel like someone got it in 15 minutes. Everybody else is doing well. I feel as though I the level is all right. Uh, Mason, yo, getting in that door onto room eight and looking for maybe a second place here. 
I really want to say thanks again, though. Uh, if y'all like this level, I really, really want to say thanks to uh, Sulfur X, Kelgan, and especially Fen, who helped me because I am not good at ROM hacking, actually. All I really do is design levels, and Fen helped us put this all together in a nice, clean ROM. Uh, X came through and designed some stuff. Kelgan made, uh, what, E8, I think was Kelgan's room. Um, thank you so much. This was kind of a backup we pulled, and I'm really grateful to have such kind and generous, cool and talented people on the ROM Hack Races crew to help me out with this one. Mason, look out. Lower left. Oh, they're through. All right, nice nice item swim. That did get nerfed a little bit. I will I will say, it's cool. Oh, it's all right, but... That 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 was a little bit of a tighter, uh, tighter item swim. And I will tell you all this: I did cut um, three or four or five rooms out of this because I thought they were just kind of awful. <laughs> were, these are the best ones. And Mason is in here. They are into the final room. I love how everybody immediately recognizes use the shell as a weapon. I think that's great. So shoved it here, working on uh, getting P speed. Look out! And Germ Dove, oh, trying to get in that door, nice. Louis Doucet in the upper right working on the Morton climb, and Germ Dove looking for a, maybe a second too if uh, Mason gets caught up a little bit. So this was also kind of intentional, uh, and I'm interested to see how this plays out. Um, I wanted, I like the idea of the final room here being a sort of a mad dash, you know? Or, or a little bit of RNG, I don't know, it's, uh, it's alright. Uh, and I wanted to see if it would shake up any of the standings, but it looks like Mason is out of here. Nicely done. And, ooh, Germ Dove, one block. One block, too short. Good job, that's a second. Good job, Mason. Well played. Germ Dove. Oh, hey, cool. <laughs> Germ Dove making the P-Speed, uh, or the item swim, rather, but, uh, Still have to avoid the vanilla enemies that are just hanging out. Here's Jank Pickle in the lower left getting into room 7. And uh, Germ Dove for their shot at third place. See, the thing about this room is this is the item, this is the one up bonus room. So normally you go into this room and you, you hit the, the one up blocks. And then you uh, try to get one-ups, like you hit three coins and you try to get the one-up. Uh, I've inverted it, and so the platforms are cement now. And if you don't jump through the hole that is indicated by the blue coin, it might wall you off. Because there's Kaizo blocks in the ones that aren't. I was thinking about falsely indicating one, but I felt like that would be rude. Oh, dear, Louie, do say, oh, no. <laughs> I saw that. They had it. They were just about to make the jump to the door, and then they just, like, missed it and plummeted. Oh. Oh, jeez. It's Louie, Jank Pickle, and Roke Games here in the lower right. Roke, yo, doing really well. Let's go. Go, Roke. Is this the first vertical fish swarm section? Quite possibly. But I'd be kind of surprised if Jump didn't do it somewhere first, you know? Uh, it's like it's like everything is like ah jump probably did it, but if jump didn't do it maybe. Germ dove, uh oh, uh oh, come on, yeah! And then when you get down, it's easier. Yeah, I thought that was kind of fun. And Roke getting into the door, Jank Pickle not too far behind. Uh, good job, Germ dove. Well played. So I, I thought maybe this level could also kind of spark a little bit of inspiration, proof of concept. Um, I had really, I, I thought of this idea, just kind of like sitting around, like just thinking about stuff to make. And I thought like, well, what if we just like Kaizoified some of the vanilla levels? I would be interested to see more people's takes on this concept, on, on either these levels or any other vanilla level you know vanilla vanilla edits can you know can lend itself to just be like uh you know some low effort remember those old school hacks with just like really low effort kind of nonsense obviously not that but the idea of taking something familiar and bringing out little subtleties about it like for example here muzzle in the upper left nobody really takes this left path right when you're playing the game for real nobody goes on the left path uh, and here you have to do it. And something about that. Yeah, I was inspired by, like, SMW Remade from Memory. That that kind of put the idea in my head, like, huh, like, what if we 
Kaizo from memory. And Leo looks like Roke. Let's go. Roke games in the lower right, making it into the uh, making it making it into Fish Tower. I like I like the idea of the one-time use uh, weapon. You know. Oh wow, that was good, yo. Roke, that was awesome. Dang, they really did a great job avoiding those fish. That was awesome. GG. Oh man. All right, I'm really all right. Good job, everybody. Good job. I was I was a little worried. I don't know. I, I'm not normally sitting in the in the maker's chair here. Shavda here in the lower uh, right. Check out her new hack, um, Dysphoria. It's on SMW Central. I just played it last night. I feel like, you know, I feel like Shoved is kind of do because I just played uh, one of her super tough shell levels and then Dysphoria. Um, so I feel, I feel like, I feel like Shoved to, yeah, yeah, play, play, play something I made. Yeah. <laughs> Jank Pickle, here we go. Lower left, getting into that item swim. Nice up throw. I like, you know, our, I, mean, maybe I, don't, I don't mean to wax too philosophical here, but artistically speaking, I like getting people to focus on small things, you know, or, or something that they might not have looked at before. Like, have you ever really considered the way the structure of this first part that Jank Pickle's in in the vanilla level, like, works? You know, and when you have to do an item swim, you have to think about that. Suddenly you notice, oh, geez, that Dry Bones is positioned in a weird way, and, and that is, you know at like oh it makes it hard to swim and i i like that kind of thing right it's like it's like you there's an in, there's infinity in the mundane if you noticed it you know jank pickle let's go oh look out fish tower oh i was i'm hoping somebody can make the keep the shell all the way oh yo hey two muzzle in the upper left trying to get out of the door in the morton climb Yeah, see, okay, and this, this maybe this is a, I don't know, G, GC7 level design philosophy sort of thing, but when thinking about making a race, oh, let's go, Jank Pickle, oh, no, uh, when thinking about making a race level, you know, I, I've seen a lot of races, I commentate most nights, and I tried to do, I wanted to do something here where, like, you would have these moments where maybe you'll get it quickly, maybe not, and you kind of have to hang out and just have a sort of, like, tense moment working with the dry bones and that's sort of like a variable amount of time that you might get through um i, th I don't know part of me just i was fascinated by that i wanted to see how that played out in the race and muzzles yo doing fine and moving on jank pickle let's go win oh everybody's doing so well good job nice job and we haven't got to see it on the on the restream, but there, there's a little dedication in the credits of this level that I wanted to say. Um, this level is dedicated to the next generation of Kaizo players. Um, this is a sort of a tongue-in-cheek joke on my part. Nice job, Louie! Getting in that door, shoved us right behind. Um, you know, th this is a little bit of a tongue-in-cheek joke on my part, but I hope that the spirit is felt not to be like gatekeepery it wasn't really better back in the day you know in fact it was kind of rough because we didn't have cool streams to watch and we had to get our info from you know video game magazines and stuff muzzle making it look easy though they played this game before um but this level is dedicated to the next generation the newer players right now and the people who are up and coming the people who didn't play mario world back in the day um they're gonna be a lot stronger they're gonna be stronger than we ever were and they represent the future so Rather than, you know, I hope I hope the spirit of this is is received that like rather than be like gatekeepery, it's a it's a sort of a celebration. Like the joke really is that there's no way we could, I could you know I or anyone you know we wouldn't have beaten this level back in the day, but now it's easy, so not easy enough. <laughs> so this this one this one goes out to the the newer Kaizo players and the ones who are trying to make their mark. I believe in y'all very much. Uh-oh, here we go. This is what I wanted to see. Yeah, this is what I wanted to see on the end here. Louis Duce and Muzzle. Yup. Yeah, now we got the sprint. This is. I was hoping to create some moments like this where, uh, you know, the, the, the fish room holds up one racer and allows another racer to get here, and now they're neck and neck. Yeah, I like this. Ender of Games trying to sprint to that door. They made it. 
and shoved a just just bopping, you know, just bopping that dry bones. Oh, I wanted to point out for Ender's screen too. The strat there is to get P speed at the start, and I, I just I don't know. I was proud of that one. I like that strat. Shoved a going for that item swim. Could they be? Could they get to the? Uh, could they get to the door? Oh, now here's the, yeah. There's the thing. So. <laughs> I didn't put a muncher down in the bottom uh, in case you got locked out like that because you could die to the fish um, and that makes it take a little bit more time. <laughs> you can't just run and immediately touch a muncher. You have to kind of influence a fish to hit you. It's just kind of a joke on my part. <laughs> I like these little like... <sighs> Kaizo can be so exacting sometimes, you know? You either landed the jump or you didn't. There, there's a There's a very like range right either get it or don't muzzle getting it though and louie right oh 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 nice nice thought nice thought nice thought louie trying to trying to look for some secret areas or go go back in that's clever it's pretty clever yeah looking for that secret room well originally i did have uh, more stuff after that these rooms aren't in the order that i built them um so originally that room the, originally that was the idea that you went up and got the key brought it down and put it by the pipe to go back in the pipe and get out of that room um but when i decided to end the level with that room i was like oh, i'll just put a keyhole down there so we've got b2 we've got nathan ender of games and uh shoved on room eight uh nathan working on getting p speed and yeah b2 and ender every everybody doing uh doing the morton climb this was the long section this was pointed out in testing too and uh you know, it's actually, I had, um, I had more. <laughs> I made <laughs> my original, uh, conception for this had the whole, um, space used up. And, uh, when you get past the dry bones, I had, like, more obstacles up there. Um, yeah, it, w it was a more ton. And I think at the, um, at the very good advice of the testers, I cut the top half of that off. <laughs> and just, just made them go in the door right there. CO with the disco shell jump. Let's go. You know, maybe we will get a sequel or a collab sometime. I think it would. I think it would be kind of fun to maybe do a whole SMW Kaizoified from memory. Uh, that that was a big inspiration for this hack. It got me thinking. Got me thinking about vanilla edits, right? Um, if you haven't checked that one out, it's really cool. S SMW remade from memory. It's exactly what it sounds like. They remade the levels just you know just from their own memory. And it's, like, cool and uncanny. Not Kaizo, but it's definitely, like, it's gaslighting you, <laughs> you know? I also like exploring the idea of uh, in, in the Morton Climb section here, B2 and Ender are on. I like exploring the idea of auto-scroller, but it's not an auto-scroller. Forced movement, but it's not an object you're riding on. And I, we don't really see that, do we? We could use that more in Kaizo, where you're like, you have to wait around because you're waiting for the Layer 2 cycles to move. And we, we get some Layer 2 movement kind of levels, but they're, genu they're generally designed to be quick. That most of the time when people are making a, a level like that, you're designing it for quick one cycles through things. And uh, I don't know. I think it's kind of interesting to make something where part of the challenge is waiting around for some reason. Shoved it. Let's go. Oh, and Ender 2. And V2. Look at this. And Shoved it here. Uh, shoved, shoved it will know that I... Shoved it will probably took one look at this and is like, I'll freaking glitch cat and your fish swarms. Because that it, it, I... Do I do I do love the fish swarm, and uh, I would love to see a, a modified fish swarm that only jumped halfway up the screen, so that we could do fish surfing without having to put Mario off the top of the screen constantly. Hashtag just saying. Oh, Ender, yeah, looking for a way to recycle it. Ah, uh, nobody ever uses the bonus room. I, I don't know, you know. I just I tried to pick some things that nobody I, I don't see in Kaizo. This is this is an experimental level. Oh, nice jumps. Yo, shoved it. Nicely done. I love how everybody immediately just trusts the blue coins. 
<laughs> GG Shubda. Check out uh, check out Shubda's work uh, on SMW Central. She makes really really good hacks. Ender of Games. Oh yeah, not bad, not bad. Oh, we threw the shell away though. And B2 also. Oh, they're like neck and neck right now. Oh yeah, B2, bring in this shell. Yeah, people are people are chop oh. <laughs> B2 did not did not trust. You know what I thought about doing? Maybe in retrospect I should have done. GG Ender! Oh, excuse me. Oh my gosh. There's Ender. Getting out of there. Nicely done. Yo, good clear tonight, Ender. Um, you know, I, what I thought about doing was uh, indicating one of the empty holes with a yellow coin instead of a blue coin. Uh, good job, B2. Not bad. Did Ender get that? Oh, excuse me. Oh my gosh. It was so fast. I looked down and Ender was already cleared it. A one-shot. That's amazing. Good job. That's really cool. That's I think that's the only one-shot on that room we've seen. Mangort, meanwhile, trying to get out of room four. Here comes Nick Dude in the lower left. CO in the upper left and Nathan MG in the upper right. Yeah, dude, a lot of gaming, you know? A, a lot of people beat this level when they were kids. You know? Th this is as as you will remember, you know, standard Morton from when you were a kid. You know. <laughs> also, I like uh Mangord here. Th I'm, I'm glad some folks are still on the on the fourth room. Uh cuz I get to show this off. I have always really liked this area. In in particular, it's always been just one of my favorite areas in Vanilla Mario World, is this exact little thing in Ludwig's Castle. And I always felt like this is almost as close as the OG game got in some ways to Kaizo. Sure we have Tubular, which is hard, but that's more like standard hard. Good job, CO! Let's go! Um, and this one is like almost there, you know what I mean? It's almost Kaizo, and so I really wanted to do something kind of special with this room. So, most of the stuff is in the original place, but uh, I, I, I put a lot of things, that, you know, I, I design levels I like, and uh, I really enjoy organically coming up with a way to make the player hang out and wait somewhere. It's, it's kind of just like my favorite trick. Um, it's one thing to kind of, you know, they hit a P-switch and they just have to hang out, but I like, like, making them sort of arrive at a point and then do something interesting while they're hanging out and waiting, so... I don't know, I hope that came off in this, uh, area. Because I thought it was kind of fun. Yo, oh yeah, too, I've seen a lot of people testing that, and, uh... I have, and every time I see it, they're on, like, a different level that I haven't seen anyone else play. Bun Bun 3, coming out, what, at the end of the month? From CO, that's awesome. Yo, I also, I appreciate Mangort doing the disco jump. Uh, that jump actually was nerfed, and, um, I'm glad that I did that. Originally, uh, the cloud platform was a cement block, so you had to, like, jump and angle around it. You couldn't go up from under the block, you had to angle around, and that was substantially more difficult than just letting them jump up from below it. Uh, I think that was a good decision. Why? 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 You know? Why kill them? Whoops, you didn't jump on the disco show. Like, I wanted people to actually get a good run in here. I swear I put a moon somewhere in this in this Ludwig room. I swear I did. Maybe, maybe I forgot. <laughs> if y'all are interested in checking this level out for yourselves, uh, you can go over to romhackraces.com, download this patch or any patch that we've had from any of our races. You can jump on the Discord server there and chat with the community, or uh, sign up, race with us, or volunteer if you're into it. It was there in an earlier version? I don't know, I don't know. Maybe I forgot. Maybe I put it on the other side of that wall by mistake or something. Or maybe it disappears if the players got the moon in the in the first Morton area. Maybe you can only have like one moon or something. Yeah, if you get the moon in room two, yeah. 
I think that might be it. Good job. Yo, Fen, thank you so much for your help this week. This was... Fen really was MVP on this one. Putting this all together for us and slapping glue onto the collage that is this level. Well, now I'm out of backups. <laughs> this was... <laughs> this was my backup that we, you know, I made it. I made this a while ago for the purpose of being a ROM hack race backup level. Sometimes things happen, that's all good. And uh, we have to, we got to pull a backup level in. Um, so I had had this one sitting around for a while, and when it came time to pull it out, I was like, oh yeah, sure, sure, it'll be fine. And then we brought it in for testing, and I was just like, oh, wait, this needs a little bit of work. So everybody, everybody jumped in to help me out, and I am super grateful for that. Oh, thanks, you fail me. You did great on that first section. You really, you really, uh, really just zipped right out of there. Good job. Thanks for racing. Uh oh, Nathan. Oh, look out, Nathan. MG. A little safe spot down there. But yeah, originally I had my original build for this Morton climb. I used the whole area, and you did other stuff after this. Um, but I thought, like, ah, yeah. Um, at the at the sage advice of the testers, like. Just trunk truncate the section, end it there. Just uh, let them get a run, you know. <laughs> Imagine if there was a Kaizo block there. I know. There, see, and you know what? I hope I hope you all realize just how much more difficult this could be. <laughs> you know, you know what I mean. I mean, we're we're trying to make a fun race here. I, I went through two or three rounds of nerfing. Nice job, Co. Um, you know, we we I went through some nerfs. Um, if y'all are interested, I could I could eventually show you the original ideas um and i did have other rooms uh that got cut they weren't as good um but one in particular i did like which was uh <laughs> which was i don't think any i think if you know what it is you're not gonna mind that it's not here you're gonna be like yeah that's cool but i it's fine you didn't put it in nathan and co neck and neck and nick dude and mangor too Yeah, I had, yeah, there was, uh, there were some other things. Originally, I had a, I had a Roy fly, uh, section where it was kind of like, I could, I mean, I could, I could put these out. Honestly, you know, it's like we could keep working on it. I think it might be kind of cool. Uh, Sulfur X and I and, and ROM Hack Race friends were talking about maybe doing a, a, a larger version of this and, you know, more, more levels, more Kaizo stuff, you know. I beat this game when I was a kid, um. This, this is sort of a proof of concept, right? This is the pilot episode for a, for a potentially larger show. Um, but, uh, yeah, I had a, I had a Roy Fly section, and I just, I, I didn't, th I thought it was kind of weak. It was, it was Roy Fly, but you were, like, keeping the brown block snake alive so that it could eat through some barriers, and you were avoiding some fireballs on the way. I didn't love it. I just thought it was a little uninspired, perhaps. Um, and the other section I cut in particular was, um, uh, Mangort. Oh, you're up there, though. You can't, there's no munchers up there. They can do it if they know where the pipe is. Uh, the other section I cut was a, um, uh, the sunken ghost chip, but with, uh, two fishing boos that you also have to dodge. <laughs> that, that was it. Just, just sunken ghost chip and two fishing boos. And Nathan, no problem getting in there. I'm gonna give I'm gonna give credit to Mithrillionaire here on this one. Uh, Mangor, this one's on me. Uh, Mithrillionaire in testing did mention that like, hey, maybe some people won't know that you can get P speed and scroll the camera up, and they might get confused as to where to go. This isn't really supposed to be a challenge. Um, I just forgot that this was a thing about SMW that people might not realize, and then, and then it stayed the way it is. So, this one's on me, Mangort. Uh, yeah, this, this one's on me. The, the pipe is right up there to the right. All I gotta do is just, like, get P-Speed or, uh, or, or jump, uh, get P-Speed and jump so they can see it. Or just kind of jump off into Oblivion up there and press down if they know where the pipe is in the vanilla game. This one's, that, this one's on me, Mangort. My bad. I didn't listen. I didn't, I didn't listen. I, I mean, what, I don't know, what could we have done? I guess I could have just slapped a pipe in, 
I guess, I honestly, I guess the thing to do would have been to just where the munchers are, where Mangort's standing here, just put a pipe there. But I thought, oh, it has to look like the original game. So, this one's on me. Oh, good job, Nathan. Oh, good job, Nathan. MG on, or yeah, that's Nathan. Good job. Yeah, 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 they did it. Yes, Mangort, yeah, woo! I'm so glad they didn't die. That one's on me, friend. Good job, Mangort. You get, I, I'm, I'm gonna give 50 cool points for that one. And uh, good job, uh, good job, Nathan. Endless Ascent coming in here. In the upper right, it's Co Cadelic. Endless Ascent. Ooh, they got the spring. Nick Dude and Mangort. And yo, get some crabs in chat for the final four. Nice. All right, yo. Nobody got, nobody got really bodied. That makes me happy. I feel, I feel as though I've succeeded as, as making a race level. I mean, I, this wasn't just me, but the stuff I made didn't really body everybody, so... Alright, GG, everybody. I wanted, I wanted this to be a fun one. I know, I know that the name GlitchCat7 can be synonymous with ridiculous, completely off-the-wall bonkers quantum stuff. And, uh, I, I, I wanted to give y'all a fun one for a change. You know, something, something enjoyable. Yo, Nick Dude, I like this room a lot. I'm really proud of that room. It's it's one little uh, it's the it's like one part of uh, Chocolate Fortress, but look at the original Chocolate Fortress and like look how it was rearranged. I'm like proud of that one. It adds a lot more movement into that same space. Thanks, Diesel MP. Thanks everybody. Yo, if you're having fun, don't forget to drop a follow for Romhack races. We have these races every Saturday night at eight o'clock p.m. Eastern. You can hang out on the Discord while we're not streaming and uh, check out the website anytime you like. Yeah, to be fair though, I don't know if I indicated slope speed as well as it, as well as it. I thought it was kind of just going to be self-evident, like, oh, I need it, obviously. Mangort, nice job. But uh, in, in retrospect, I don't think the slope speed there was indicated as well as it could have been. I figured, in my, my, in my mind, I thought uh, a slope plus that coin indicator would clearly be like, aha, slope speed, but it's also um, fair to not immediately jump to that assumption. There was, there was another moon, uh, but I didn't realize if you collect the moon in the in the first room, or in the, in the first Morton room, you can't get the moon in the Ludwig room. So we got Mangort working on room 7, Nick Dude working on room number 6, Endless working on that spring jump, and Co working on room 8. Yeah, I'm not sure if Co thinks they need to hit that coin block. That is just a, um, I think that was actually a mushroom in the original game. I think it's now just a coin block. But yeah, that, no, no need to hit the block, just mosey on over to the end. And yep, CO. I love how everybody just like they oh 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 okay never mind all right all right. CO not bringing the shell, but that's fine. They don't need it. And it's fish time again. Oh look at them all! They're jumping. They're jumping. Y'all, you, you might think you know there, there's some RNG to the fish. I, as a gamer, I like a a, a well controlled RNG dodge. I've always said that there's, in games, there's RNG which controls whether or not you live or die. And then there's RNG which controls the circumstances under which you must must function, you know? It, it's, it's, it's like baseball and football, you know? Football is just the weather is part of the game. Is it snowing? Is it raining? Like, oh, we're still going to play football. That's just the conditions. RNG can be like that, where it's just like, you just have to deal with it. What's about to happen? You don't know. Fighting games, you know, when, when, when I'm playing against an opponent in Street Fighter and getting my butt kicked, it's kind of RNG, you know? <laughs> I have to improvise. I don't know what they're going to do when I'm standing up or what's going to happen. So, um, I don't know. I think, it's a, I think it's a good skill to have as a player to be able to kind of think on your feet like this a little bit. And uh, I really, really like the fish. But that being said, they're not as RNG as you might think. Um, for one thing, there will only be, like, four, I think it tops out at four max, like, there won't be any more fish than that on the screen. They tend to jump in a pretty reasonable way, 
and their jump kind of responds to where your position is. So if you spend some time just sort of messing with fish, you can actually get pretty good at predicting where they're going to jump and kind of getting, getting around them. And it looks like this is no problem for Sio. Endless Ascent. Nick Dude. Oh, look out. Mangor, too. Oh, it's Nick Dude. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm, I, I, you know, I don't know how everyone else feels about this part, but I think it's fun. Uh, the strat is, and actually, I think You Fail Me got it. I don't know if like they they read that strat immediately or they just kind of made a good guess, but um, the the fast strat for this dry bones part is to not hit it. As soon as you get here, just don't touch the dry bones at all, and then it will line up on the first available opportunity. Good job, Mangord. Endless two, so close. Nick, dude, looking for that door as well. Oh no! Oh no! Do 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 blue 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 Hey thanks for hanging out for tonight's race y'all. I uh I do the I do the commentary every week, but uh this 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 week in particular I was a little nervous. It's like oh no, like the race is starting. Shout outs to all the other makers who have to who feel that as well. Thanks for thanks everybody for contributing. ROM Hack Races is a huge team effort. And Mangort uh getting into that final room. Um, thank you all for making this happen. Dr. No on the restream. Fen, can't say thanks enough. All the testers this week did a really, really fine job with that. And their names are Mithrillionaire, Fen, All the Low End, Ampersam, Blue Ribbon High Life, RB Pimlico, and Kelgan. All jumped in and helped us out with that. Um, we have Scouts even. They're helping out too. Thanks, Fen, Doc, What's Up, Dot, Star Lord, and Kelgan too for scouting. Uh, thank you all so much. ROM Hack Races is a, is a huge group effort. Who came up with room nine? Uh, 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 me. <laughs> uh, I did. <laughs> well, 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 see, I basically just copied the existing power plant and I added some fins to lower wind resistance and this racing stripe I thought was pretty sharp. Oh, CO! First prize! First prize! First prize! So for those that didn't know, um, all of these rooms were made by me except for the first room that Endless Ascent is in and the intro to the Morton room, which was made by Kelgand. The rest of the rooms were done by me. Original Star Wars figures, still in their original packaging. Look, there's Han and Chewie, all my favorites. They're all here. Oh, Mangort, let's go. Grabbing that key. Oh, I like that fish room. I know, I know, everyone's just gonna be like freaking glitch in your fish swarms, but I feel like I kind of like that's a thing now. You know what I mean? Like, like yeah, glitch cat, fish swarm. Endless, ah, oh, jeez. Yeah, Endless Ascent here, committed to the swaggiest possible strat in the first area. Rubens, yo, thank you for the raid. How's it going, everybody? Thanks for hanging out on Romhack Races. We got Nick Dude, oh, jeez. We got Nick Dude N7 up here in the left side and Endless Ascent on the right. Make sure to drop a follow. Uh, come back and see us next week. We will have another SMW Kaizo level. We do this every week. Uh, the races are open to the public, and this level, even though it looks vanilla, was made on the ROM Hack Races base ROM that Ampersam and friends put so much time into. If you're looking to uh, make a hack, and you don't want to go through all the incredibly tedious, overwhelming amount of stuff that uh, goes into setting up a ROM, uh, ROM Hack Races base ROM makes that so much easier and really just provides you with a great foundation to start on. Uh, it's really elevated the craft. Oh, endless. Hey, GG, endless. I appreciate that. You know what? I'm gonna give. What's that? Five thousand and seven cool points for endless ascent. 
uh, for the amount of time they spent going for that. They well, they, they I think they were going for that that left midair on purpose, and now they're moving on. That's cool too. It's, it's all right. Sometimes you gotta know when to when to hold them, know when to fold them. I probably could have buffed this room. I made this. Ah, <laughs> yes, they found it. Someone found it. Yay. Oh, they didn't even die to it, but endless. Thanks. In the vanilla game, that outlined block is just to show you that there could be a yellow block there if you hit the piece at the yellow switch. Uh, but I thought it would be funny to turn it into a Kaizo block. <laughs> Someone hit it. Yes. I think I could have buffed this though. I think uh, I made I made this room kind of hastily, just to kind of get something in. And uh, I think I, I think I could have buffed this a little bit. I think uh, I think maybe the thwimps at the start could have something going on, or heck, maybe uh, maybe more jumps off the uh, the ball and chains. Yeah, all right, endless hitting that block twice for us. Nicely done. All right, this is the Kelgan. This is Kelgan's room. They made this one. I thought this was a nicely elegant kind of change. Um, it's everything is exactly the same as it was in the vanilla. Um, except for you, the, the jump on the Pobedo is forced, which is kind of a cool trick of timing. Oh, let's go, Nick dude, alright. Oh, oh yeah, smart. Oh, oh no, that was it though, that's, that's how you do the, the fast strat. If you just get there and you never touch it, it will, yeah, it'll tend to be in a good spot. Kogan added two munchers and dropped the floor before the lava one tile. Well, it does look nice. Well, it looks snazzy. Let's go, Nick, dude, and let's go, Endless. Ah, <laughs> uh, Endless. I like that trick, too. I don't know. I'm, I'm noticing, like... When you, when you look at the work of the artist, you see the artist's subconscious, uh, you know, things that they enjoy. And uh, I love that trick where you kill something by hitting a block next to it. In this case, being a Kaizo. So when Endless is going to get down there and kill that Dry Bones by hitting the Kaizo block next to it. That's, that's just something I like. I don't know. Nick, dude. It's something I like, but I can't call this hack my favorite things. I like, but I can't call this. Didn't not steal from Revelug. <laughs> I love the fish. I just, I just like them. They're just my friends. They're all happy and they just flop around. You know what would be fun is a fish swarm where some of the fish were uh, were like red and some of the fish were white and you had motor skills and you had to like switch your jump. Oh, that's an interesting strat there, Endless. Well, yo, thank you all so much for hanging out for this. I think you've heard about all the uh, all the advertising plugs I have to give. Uh, don't forget about that ROM Hack Races shop, though. We've got some really cool t-shirts, and we've got some great new emote designs, uh, both from Borgie Man, excellent artist in our community. Check out his work as well. Check out everybody. Be interested in things. It'll be rewarding, I promise. Um, follow the racers. Go and check them out. Uh, all, your, all your favorite streamers could use a kind word. Uh... And some folks hanging out and giving them some GGs when they beat a tough level. That feels great. And uh, everybody's looking for that. So be a pal. Follow some racers. Come back and follow ROM Hack Races. That's fun. And just thanks, y'all. I really appreciate it. Normal normally, it's just like I'm just commentating on someone else's level. But here here I have to answer for my crimes live on stage. I'm really I'm glad everybody enjoyed this. Maybe, uh, maybe it would inspire somebody to take this concept even further. Uh, I, I certainly, I would think that would be cool if someone were to do that. I don't, you know, d don't don't think of like, oh, I'm the only one that's going to make it. Like, please, if this has inspired you, if you have a, an interesting idea or something, um, maybe. I know Assault for X and I were talking about it. Maybe some other ROM Hack Race friends 
would like to do it um maybe a whole collab of something like this where we just morph the whole game into you know kaizo and it's just like the original game but you know fewest smallest touch to produce the biggest result you know keep things mostly work with the vanilla locations of sprites work with the original vanilla but just add a muncher here and there add a spike here and there tweak a little thing you see you know this is proof of concept for that so i hope uh maybe this can inspire somebody to try something try something new or if vanilla edits aren't your thing at least uh keep reaching out in kaizo be don't don't be afraid to try new experiments and follow your idea that's a real beautiful thing in kaizo good job nick dude yeah super fish swarm every level has a fish swarm in it it's just fish swarm world that's it good job and once again yo thanks to uh thanks to kelgan uh sulfur x and fen especially for helping put this one together uh if you didn't hear before i wanted to give a special dedication dedicated to the next generation of kaizo players um you know the the joke i beat this level when i was a kid the joke really is that no one could beat this level when we were kids if this level showed up in the 90s no one would ever have beaten it we would all just be like the game is broken it's terrible but nowadays we can beat it and so this one isn't to gatekeep and say that it was better back in the day it's actually the opposite to say that we were you know we, i wasn't that good when i was a teenager and there are new kaizo players now who are very 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 talented so this one goes out to the next generation and we're in there yo thank you so much gg nick dude uh endless yeah getting finding all kinds of ways to get up here uh thank you all so much for hanging out um it is usually customary to raid the last racer um so we can get some eyes on their channel uh but if you're hanging out on saturday night and you need a little bit more kaizo in your lives please feel free to well i mean do i feel free you're obviously already free to you don't need my permission you don't even need my permission to go and check out uh other kaizo streams in the super mario world directory there are so many people playing kaizo and uh they're really good and they're really kind and cool so go make some friends you know it's fun kaizo is a very welcoming place uh for me i will see y'all probably tomorrow I'll probably be on tomorrow you can check out more of my stuff wherever kaizo books and literature are sold um the, the 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 wikipedia references my articles uh you, you know me i'm gc7 thanks for hanging out the real credit goes to the rest of the rom hack races staff for doing all this thank you doc for the restream and everybody for helping and testing uh thank you everybody in chat for hanging out and we'll see you over on endless ascents stream